Ty, under the memorandum, employers can defer the withholding deposits and payments of the employee portion of the OA, SDI, or the old age survivors and disability of FICA taxes. Now, guidance of the deferral went out to employers on the 18th of August, but there's a little more clarification to those still wondering. Now, the payroll tax deferral is available to employees who have wages and compensations of 4,000 or less in a given biweekly payroll period from September 1st to December 31st of this year. It is not a permanent tax break and it comes with ramifications. We spoke with a local payroll tax company who tells us why it may be smart to deny this executive order. So it's basically just pushing out when the taxes are going to be due. You get 6% waived off your payroll taxes from now till the end of December, but then from January to April of next year, you're just going to have to pay double on that. So instead of paying 6%, you'd be paying 12%. I would say if you can avoid it, I would avoid it. I understand some people's hours have been cut, so if you're making less money right now, you might need to do it. And those who have had their hours cut, such as restaurant and bar employees, may be inclined to join a deferral. Now, Gilbert says this is not a forgiveness. It has to be paid back. Now, for employees interested, employers interested in executive order, if a company does participate in a deferral and an employee quits, the employer will ultimately be responsible to pay it back in the end. Now, for more information on the president's executive order, you can go over to MyTwinTears.com. For now, live in the studio, Daryl Matthews, 18 News.